Hostfully has a really cool feature. It's a 3D integrated partner where with the website that they create for you automatically, you can actually integrate this tool and I have an example where you where you click it and you're in the house 3D. A lot of hosts wonder why Airbnb doesn't incorporate this in their system, but we're gonna click through it. Uh, stay tuned for that. Welcome Airbnb Nation to my review of the Hostfully property management software tool. There's a lot of these tools out there and I have already made a few videos on a few of these tools. All the links will be in the description. But this one particularly is interesting because I have been in touch with this company, with the owner of this company specifically, since I believe before they even started. And so I had the opportunity to talk with uh, David of Hostfully. And so he filled me in on a few things. Along with this review, I have, or I think I have, I'm pushing to get a discount code for you all if you want to try out Hostfully. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but I was ready to go with this video, so I wanted to do it. If I get that, I will put it in the description for you all, okay? The point of this video is you're going to get a overview of the tool. We're going to pull back the covers. I have access of a live account by a Optimize My BNB customer. He get granted me permission to go in and show everything in this account, okay? And then I chatted with David, like I said, he gave me some additional details. Now listen, I want to be upfront straight away. This platform is not super user friendly. When we open it up, it's not gonna look pretty. But then again, not so many PMS tools look so pretty. My job, as I see it, is to help you understand which tool is right for you so that you only have to learn one tool. You're going to have to learn whatever tool that you decide on. I want you to, with these videos, choose the right tool from the beginning. So I'm gonna be hopefully making you think about things that you maybe otherwise wouldn't have thought about, okay? I don't want you signing up for a tool two months in realizing, oh, this feature would have been cool and then you know having to do another one. Integrations is a big one. So let's dive into it. We're on the Hostfully webpage, but I wanted to first give a shout out to David. I did a Google search. Let's see if it pulls it up here. They are in Hilton Head Island in South Carolina. And I just typed that in. And this is the Hostfully website. So if we click that, this is the Hostfully website. And on Airbnb, here is the listing that I actually optimized for Dave. And this is his Airbnb profile. If you want to have a look at what I did and what me and Dave did, you can, I'll, I'll put a link to his Airbnb profile in the description below. Okay, all of his listings are, are on this island. So I wanna clarify that this is Hostfully PMS, Property Management System. I mentioned that. The reason why I'm emphasizing this is because I've, I recommend Hostfully guidebooks, digital guidebooks, okay? It's the same company, the same parent company, but they offer two services. You can use either one or you can use them both. And if you use them both, there's actually some pretty cool integrations that are only available to uh, Hostfully because, well, they're, they work with both of these tools. Before we jump in, I wanna cover pricing, okay? Pricing is a little bit complicated. Some t companies don't even show their pricing, looking at you, Guesty, for pros. So before we get into anything, what's the pricing here? The pricing here is $99 for four listings. Okay. And that's the minimum. You have to pay $99 minimum. This is also for annual fee. If you don't do annual fee, it might cost more on Hostfully specifically, it costs $400 integration fee. I'm going to assume this pricing chart gives the annual option. Okay. And you can see the other ones here. I have done a review for Guesty for pros and that host was paying $60 per listing, okay? If you're three or less, you are guesty for hosts. I will be doing a guesty for hosts review shortly. That is $44 for one listing. IGMS, they are $27 for one listing and Hospitable is $40 for two listings. Hostfully is a preferred partner for Airbnb. Now, as far as I can tell, it doesn't matter. Uh, because there's other tools that aren't partners with Airbnb and there's no real friction or anything going on. So keep that in mind. These companies do advertise preferred partner. It doesn't really mean anything as far as I'm aware. If you disagree, I would like to hear you in the comments. I'm gonna mention that a few times in this video, especially for things, features that I'm not exactly sure on. So anyone who's using Hostfully or the Hostfully team, if you guys are watching this, you can comment 
down below as well. Hostfully, in terms of platforms, they operate basically on all the platforms. You got Airbnb, VRBO, HomeAway, Booking, TripAdvisor, plus a direct booking website and others. Now, the interesting thing um, is Hostfully, uh, they give you three calls with a customer service rep with any order. Now, advice, wait to do those calls. Don't do those calls up at the beginning. I have personal experience with this. Someone buys Elevate Host from me. If they book a call without looking at anything, that call is not so efficient. But if they take a week and really try and understand what's going on, then the call is super useful because more things are registering for them because they have real life experience. So wait as long as you can to book those three calls so you really get uh, value from those calls. Don't, don't um, wait on the rep. It's just general advice for these kind of calls. Don't wait on the rep to tell you what, what you think you need to know. You need to know what you need to know. And then you can tell the rep, hey, help me with this, help me with that. That's how those calls are more most efficient. Now the digital guidebook after this, we will jump in. The digital guidebook, the cool thing about using the Hostfully digital guidebook with Hostfully PMS is that it integrates really nicely the, it, it, in terms of personalizing the guidebook. So each guest is gonna see their check-in date and check-out date. They're gonna see their code in the check-in information. You, we used to have to, if you don't use Hostfully PMS, you have to type in the code individually or send a separate email. With Hostfully integration with Hostfully guidebook, in the guidebook, each guest looking at that guidebook will have their own check-in code, okay, which is useful because we really want to push the guest to open up that digital guidebook. And if their check-in code is in the digital guidebook, that means they got to open up the digital guidebook to get inside. Now, if you don't understand what the big deal is about the digital guidebook, well, uh, you're late to the party. I will be honest with you. You are very late to the party. I have many videos on this. Just type in uh, optimize Airbnb digital guidebook, hostfully something like that on YouTube and you will get a plethora of information. Okay, let's dive in. So we're in the account now and we're coming to dashboard. This is a summary. I want you, the point of this is to kind of put my feelers out there. Are people interested in Hostfully? If you're interested, hey, I wanna know more about dashboards. I wanna know more about this feature, this feature, okay? So we're gonna go through all of these tabs or the vast majority of them and give you an introduction of how Hostfully looks if you are actually using it. Here is the dashboard. Now, leads are leads. What's cool about this, I kinda like just one thing. I'll call it a few things every now and then. If we click edit here, uh, internal guest notes, you can save, you know, if they were bad guests or whatever, or you have some certain guest notes or whatnot. Uh, if you're in a repeat guest market, that's kind of cool, internal guest notes. I also want to call attention to the stay details. So here's what I was talking about with the automatic integration. This code is going to be shown in the digital guidebook if, the, if this host has that set up. And this one in particular is with a remote lock. If we move over to inbox here, inbox, these are kind of standard with all the tools, dashboard, inbox, calendar. Uh, the cool thing about the inbox is these dots give you a little overview. Hostfully seems to be excelling a bit more on direct bookings if you have direct bookings. So here, this, these dots over here let you know this is an, an inquiry. The third dot here is that uh, they're arriving in a certain amount of days, it's a reservation. And then this fourth dot is a stay, a current stay. Interestingly enough, I couldn't find the second dot. I don't know what the second dot is. Moving over to pipeline, you can see uh, very similar to the last the last uh, few pages. It's 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 your command center. It shows you all the information. You can click into details to get messages, guest information, etc. If we move over to the calendar, let's see what the calendar looks like on Hostfully. So we have red here. This is bookings from Airbnb. Purple is blocked by the owner, and orange are direct bookings. These uh, highlight ones are weekends to identify the weekends. And then we have a bunch of filters as we've done the last two tabs for anything you want. Lots of filters going on here. Let's check out reports. Now, uh, most, actually all, I think I can say all PMS tools lack in this department in my opinion. I keep on my personal documents a lot more information than I found any PMS tool provides. So a piece of feedback for Hostfully and all PMS tools would be keep more information. The more information, I think the better. Even if you don't need it, it's all automated. You're just taking one more piece of information. For example, what is the star rating of the guest? I keep track of that. The guest that I had, um, you know, it doesn't turn out. I'm trying to find a pattern. Do poorly rated guests leave? Are they bad guests? Not really, to be honest, not really. I wanna know if those guests reviewed me or I wanna know how many, uh, how many uh, of prior hosts did those guests review? How many did they review poorly? I wanna know these detailed stats. Did they book on mobile or desktop? Uh, when they booked, what cancellation policy was I offering? You know, it would be just be kind of cool. Um, do I, when I offer flexible, am I getting, um, you know, uh, 
one extra night is my average booking five nights as when I switch to a strict is my average booking four nights. It would be really interesting to, to look into all this data and really further optimize your business. Booking lead time is something that's super important. Extras, costs, extra guest fees, late check-in uh, or, or late check-out, early check-in, damage. I wanna keep track of this in the platform. Additionally, I have other materials that I send to guests. I have blog posts if guests ask about coffee or nightlife or dining, I send them blog posts. I also have a guide sent to the guests that I sometimes send, I sometimes don't, depending on what they're coming to the area for. Um, if they're repeat guests, I wanna know I've already sent it to them. And so I'd like to keep track of all of these things. It's uh, limited, all the PMS tools are limited in this regard. Now we're getting into the meat and potatoes here. If we go to properties, one feature that I thought was pretty cool is you can duplicate your property. If you want, you can duplicate it right here. That is not an option in Airbnb. Let's click on one of these listings here and in so this, this is syncing to all different platforms. It, it lets you know if there's a specific area is just for booking or just for Airbnb, et cetera. In terms of pricing, this host is integrated with Price Labs. Now Price Labs, this comes into play if you're using more than one platform. If you're just using Hostfully to manage your messages and automating your reviews and a few other things, then uh, Price Labs sync doesn't really matter because you still have to go to Price Labs to do all the adjustments and any customizations. Okay, so the benefit here is syncing between numerous platforms. Now, I did notice here under owner, this host is emailing the owner on every confirmed booking. Now, just a word to the wise, as a very experienced property manager owner, um, you want to separate the, ho the owner as much as possible from the property. Some insist, but if they don't, remove all of information as you can. Don't give them the password to the Airbnb. Don't CC them on every message, every booking. Remove them as much as possible. Otherwise, they just take up more and more of your time asking questions. Why do this? Why do this? Hey, can you do this? Can you change this? Let's move on. <laughs> now I want to compare the integrations. Let's have a look at the integrations and then I'm gonna compare them to Hospitable. The integrations, Hostfully is leading the way in integrations. There is a ton of them here. That's not to say you're going to use many or even most of them. You're barely gonna use any of them. Some of the cool ones, let's, let's just have a look here. This could be useful, let's have a look here. So luggage storage, okay, well, this is luggage storage, not available everywhere, but available in many places. Remote lock, we already looked at. Links is another type of remote lock. Same exact integration with Hostfully. Now, Matterport was the 3D tool that I'm talking about. We'll go to that just after this. Let's do it. It's too cool to hold off. I'll go to that after this. We're going to see a live example. Now, MailChimp is collecting email addresses for more so for direct booking or property managers. And we've got uh, noise aware is to monitor the decibel levels in the home to, to counteract any kind of parties going on. Superhog, these are all insurance, insurance providers, financial tools, cleaning tools, pricing tools, and payment tools. So lots of optimizations. Let's go to host, uh, let's go to hospitable. Okay, here in hospitable, this are, these are the, the, under apps. This is where you can find them and you can see they have a few similar ones, uh, MailChimp, Price Labs, AutoHost. Uh, remote lock coming soon, but uh, pretty limited. Okay, they have one that Hostfully does not have. Here, this one. Going back to Hostfully, let's have a look at this at this 3D. All right, here we go, loading with the 3D tool here. It's supposed to load faster than that. <sighs> All right, so super cool here. Something I'm gonna have to add into my own Belmonte Penthouse website. Now let's go through here and let's have a look real quick. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now you even, they even let you see out the windows. How cool is that? So plus one for Hostfully. Now I'm covering direct booking a little bit more because I'm getting into direct booking a little bit more. I think it is a, uh, a good idea. I've covered this in a couple other videos. We're, we're at the peak, I think, of Airbnb, of conglomerates doing direct bookings. There's a lot of benefits there, but with Google coming in, I think we're going to, a lot of people are going to go, be going back to direct bookings. So I wanna get ahead of the curve here and get listings on Google Vacation Rental Services, creating your own website at least with the tool, the PMS tools that you're using and trying to encourage direct bookings through a variety of strategies that I will cover in other videos. Going back to 
hostfully the templates and triggers this is where the messages are full functionality here now one note you will want to create a message okay message template many of which are already created for you then come over here and create a trigger okay and then apply that trigger to the system templates a future features, the main one that hopefully is already announced is the mobile app. They're working on that and that should be coming out uh, soon here, end of year, early next year. The other thing that they're working on is multi-unit inventory for hotels, for example, or Airbnbs. Basically, you have multiple of the same room, okay, which no, no one really serves that market right now. There's a couple other cool features I will say I can't share them because they're not public, but uh, the Hostfully team told me I can share them when, you know, soon enough, pretty soon, I will update the description when I can. I hope you've enjoyed my review and tutorial of the Hostfully property management service tool. If there's another one that you would like me to do, I already have on schedule IGMS and Guesty for hosts. Those will be coming up. If there's another you want me to do, let me know in the comments and I will get access to that and I will review it, do a deep dive review and call out some unique cool features and compare it to other property management tools.